The following presentation is made possible by the generosity of the viewers of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls in Chicago. Good morning and welcome to Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Today we celebrate the Most Holy Trinity. My name is Dan Riley. I am joined by Patrick Holland and our celebrant today is Father Carl Morello. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, burning sun with golden beam and silver moon with softer gleam. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. As we gather now a family of faith, hope, and love, we begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace, the peace, the love of God be with each of you. And with your spirit. Trusting God's love and mercy, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. And Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for all your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, who loves us, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and one day bring us to what our Eucharist reminds us of, the banquet of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. And let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains or springs of water before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills I was brought forth, while as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limits, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Oh, 
our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him? or the Son of Man, that you should care for him. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance, proven character, and proven character, hope, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Son and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters in faith, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel now according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, the Spirit will guide you to all truth. The Spirit will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I had a dear colleague who became a very dear friend as well. Her name was Mary Ann when we were working together at one of the parishes that I served. And Mary Ann had this interesting saying that she would use whenever we were having a discussion about some of the uncertainties of life and the mysteries of our humanity. And we had no real answer. She would simply just say to me, it's a mystery to us greater than the Holy Trinity. And today, that is the mystery that we celebrate, the feast of the Holy Trinity. And the Holy Trinity is beyond anything that we can truly imagine. And this feast reminds us whatever we say as a church in faith about God, it always falls short of what it seeks to do. And that is to provide us with a window, if you will, into who God is. With God, there is always more, always. At the center of what today's feast is about, the Holy Trinity reminds us of this undivided unity of the Father, Son, and Spirit. 
And our joy and hope, as we heard in today's scriptures, is being together in unity with the Father, Son, and Spirit. Why? Because they strengthen our character, as we heard, and they give us hope, especially in times of difficulty and uncertainty. And so what does this feast mean for us? Well, believing in God as an undivided community bound by love, we now are meant to reflect a kind of undivided unity as well. And that's a challenge in our world today for sure. And it's certainly a virtue that is needed to give hope where there still is so much uncertainty and division. The Holy Trinity then is not just about God, but it's also about you and me. And this is what it means for us to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. It's what our life of faith is all about. And isn't that why we seek to live lives of faith? To imitate Jesus, the Father, Son, and Spirit. And so friends, I ask you today, as we celebrate this great mystery of the Holy Trinity, I ask you to consider this question. Didn't God become one like us so that we could become one like God? Let's ask ourselves today, what are we doing? Or what might we need to do better to live this undivided unity with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? The great gift and the mystery of the Trinity that we celebrate today. I ask you to join me now in our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us, for us men and for our salvation, salvation he, he came, came down, down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried and rose, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We stand together now as a people of faith, hope, and love, living in the mystery of this Holy Trinity, and we bring our cares and needs and place them in the heart of God. Our response to each prayer will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who spread the gospel throughout the world, may they be blessed with the Lord's guidance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have been called home to God, May they find peace in the Lord's eternal kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the boys and girls of Mercy Home, may they find inspiration in God's love as they continue their healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from their faith, may they once again know the comfort and peace of the Lord's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us also take a moment and lift up in our prayer today, peace, peace for our own hearts and souls, but most of all, peace for a world that still desperately needs God's peace. And for this gift of peace for all, we pray, Lord, Lord hear our hear prayer. prayer. And loving God, 
As we gather and celebrate this Feast of the Trinity, we profess our faith in you, Father, Son, and Spirit. Strengthen us in faith, hope, and love as we pray in your name, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mingling of this water and wine, may we now share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all sin. Let us pray now in faith that the gifts of bread and wine offered be acceptable to our almighty and loving God. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, praise and, glory and glory of God's and name, for our, for our good, good and the good, good of all God's holy church. church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance and their equality and majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels who never cease to cry out each day. And now we join with their voice in this acclamation of praise. indeed holy O Lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it he gave it to the disciples saying take this all of you eat of it this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat. 
eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Archbishop, and all who minister in your church everywhere. Remember our brothers and sisters, those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and one day there may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. We pray now with confidence as Jesus taught. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace this day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from anxiety and despair as we await the joyful coming and the hope of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your friends, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge each other with a gesture of peace. And friends, from all of us here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls, to all of you at home, we extend the peace of Christ. We behold in faith Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Strengthen are we, invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that you, that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. May the body of Christ, may the blood of Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. For those of you at home, please turn to page six in your Sunday Mass guide and join in singing our communion hymn, Come to Me.
upon your shoulders take my yoke upon your shoulders come and learn from me learn from me for I am gentle of heart come to me come to me I invite you now to join me in the beautiful prayer for the children of Mercy Home. Our Lady, Lady of, of Mercy, Mercy we, pray we pray that you will guide, guide protect, protect, and bless all boys and girls who this day have a home called Mercy. May they, May they find, find the Father's mercy as we offer them our hearts in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Christ. May they, May they see, see God's, God's mercy in action, in action through our, our love, love, prayers, prayers and, and sacrifices. sacrifices. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And as we go forward, having celebrated this gift, this feast of the holy trinity, May God strengthen in us the gifts and the virtues of faith, hope, and love in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve God by our continued care for each other, especially the least among us. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Folks, I'm so fortunate that all of us pray together each Sunday. Can you imagine what the power of prayer does for all those who are sick, elderly, and homebound? I want to thank you for all that you do for the TV Mass here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Please continue to support our good efforts, and may God bless you for all you do. The music for the broadcast of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home is generously provided by GIA Publications Incorporated and its World Library Publications Division. <laughs>